Hey everybody, welcome back, oh, I'm Northern Lion, what's the problem? You sound a little bit different? We're due for an Isaac run. I think, wait a minute, no. I remember now. I think we are due for a random run, actually. We random Samson. Fuck my good conscience! Anyway, um, we, we had a good run last time. We tried. We survived much longer than I would have expected in light of some uh, pretty terrible circumstances. Really, game? Monstro's Tooth has like the highest percentage showing upness of any spacebar item over the course of the past like, you know, arbitrary number of episodes to make my point actually correct here. The thing that's really shitty is if we end up fighting Monstro, allow me to just extend the syllables there so we can see it, uh, if it actually works out. If we end up fighting Monstro, which we didn't, um, then it would have been god awful because uh, it would have actually just made a Monstro fall on us instead though. We're gonna have the, you know, standard Curse of Samson type bullshit first floor uh, cube of meat, which is going to give us, uh, you know, basically nothing of what we need right out of the gate. But I do like getting uh, a first floor cube of meat on almost every character. Samson, I prefer like HP or damage, but you know, you gotta deal with the cards that you're, you gotta play the, the cards that you're dealt, I should say. Um, but we also got a spirit heart. So if I have to get a cube of meat with Samson, I'm glad that we got it from. Uh, Blue Famine, so we get the guaranteed Spirit Heart that allows us to possibly survive a little bit longer. What was my failing on the last run? What was the problem on the last run? It might have been um, going a little bit too hard for guppy items, but in my defense it happened so early that I really thought we were going to be able to make it. We didn't make it. And you know what? That's okay. You win some, you lose some. Uh, and we're going to try to win some here. Now. I really doubt we're going to be able to get a worthwhile deal with the devil on this floor, but it is possible. Maybe we end up uh, fighting not Monstro here, and Monstro's tooth ends up being half decent. Yeah, okay, let's, um... That's kind of what I was worried about. <laughs> it's like, I'm pretty sure it just won't work. That's the real problem with Monstro's tooth, like, in fighting enemies. Or using it on any enemies at all, not just bosses specifically, but... Um, it predominantly, you know, has trouble hitting enemies. Because enemies move, you know? They're not static for the most part. There are some enemies, you know, Gertie, for example, would be a great target for Monstro's Tooth. Unfortunately, uh, enemies that move are pretty difficult for Monstro's Tooth to actually hit, thereby making things very difficult. So I did take some damage, that's pretty much par for the course at this point, taking one hit on a boss fight. Deal with the Devil is in the cards for us. Oh my god, okay, I almost botched that so miserably. You didn't, <laughs> maybe you did see it, but basically what happened is I was like, well, I'm gonna not pick up that speed upgrade, and then I'm like, wait, maybe I should. And, uh, I almost ended up going downstairs, which probably would have caused me to restart the episode. Oh, that's some bullshit damage right there. Anyway, we're fighting Krampus. Krampus is a blessing and a curse. He's annoying, uh, and we're not gonna be able to build very much damage, or any damage, off of him at all. And we may end up actually losing our spirit heart here as well. I'm not doing very well with respect to that. Um, but we do get a free deal with the devil item. We set the precedent for more deals with the devil in the future if we have the HP to back it up. Um, but really, I've, I almost feel like the difficulty in the game has been cranked up a little bit. We have not had uh, very good starts somewhat recently. We've had some good ones, admittedly, but I feel like we've had more bad or below average ones than... Uh, than usual lately. Like, this start seems real nasty. No HP after the second floor. Deal with the Devil ends up being Lump of Coal, which is actually maybe the only Deal with the Devil item we can make good use of, considering we haven't gotten any extra HP. Um, but yeah, you know, fairly difficult kind of series of events here. But, adversity is what makes you grow stronger. Perhaps this is uh, exactly what we needed all along. Also, no keys, which is lovely. I'm gonna save that speed upgrade, and the reason is, maybe we get super lucky and end up finding a D6, and then I can reroll that into something else. The speed upgrade, not gonna make an enormous difference over the course of the rest of this floor, I would imagine, at least so. Um, you know, what's the rush? Let's see if we can get lucky here, and maybe um, get this guy to blow up the wall, thereby giving us access to the secret room. Totally worked. Um, and we got the Ankh, that's been showing up like crazy lately. We could bomb our way into the shop, but we're not going to be able to buy anything anyway, so I almost just would rather save the bomb, to be honest with you. Oh, that's not even the shop over there. Please give me a key. Please give me a key. I would desire a key so much. 
Thank you. We do have some red hearts that we can pick up as well. Or a little bit of red health that we can pick up as well. Thank fucking god. And then just an HP upgrade in here would make me feel so much better about this whole situation. Ghost Baby, in case you're not familiar with the Binding of Isaac, Ghost Baby is not an HP upgrade. Instead, it is a Ghost Baby that follows us around and shoots Spectral Tears. Not specifically what I asked for, but I guess maybe I was, you know, I was too uh, unclear in, in my desires. We're going to put a bomb down here for sure because a Tinted Rock would save my life. Or, uh, sorry, a Spirit Heart would save my life, which we were lucky enough to get. Would have loved Small Rock or something as well, but whatever. It's all good. We got another key. Probably unable to use that to go to the uh, shop here. We could trade one bomb for two cents or two bombs for four cents, but I don't think those are particularly great deals. I have a hunch that this is going to be our second secret room, though. Okay. All right, well, I can't say I regret that, but it obviously wasn't what I was looking for, which was uh, an eternal heart. And despite all of the work that we did there, still came out uh, not particularly strong on this floor relative to... Uh, where, how we started it, so it's down to the next floor, pretty much the same as Samson's uh, always been. Oh, okay, well, Bob's Curse is a fine item. It's not uh, amazing, but I'm happy enough to have it at least. Poison Bombs will allow us to do some extra damage if uh, our tears aren't cutting it. Can't even open that. We are right now Samson plus Monstro's Tooth plus Ghost Baby plus Speed plus Cube of Meat. Don't forget about that uh, QBM there. Okay, and there you go, you are deceased. Thought about trying to find the secret room, but whatever. And of course we're on the catacombs, because as if life wasn't difficult enough for us already, being Samson and getting shitty items, let's put us on a more difficult version of the floor as well. Mind you, okay, I didn't even mention the, the lump of coal, I think. The lump of coal is the biggest upgrade we've gotten so far, if I had to say. Uh, and the onk, the onk's cool too. Onky. Oh, I walked into Monstro, which, you know, silly me, I thought would not hurt me because, you know, it's my Monstro. I guess I'm an idiot, though. There's our um, Spirit Heart as payment for finishing the fight. That's good. Another deal with the Devil. I wouldn't mind killing myself for a great item. Squeezy. Still no HP. I wouldn't mind killing myself for a great item on the deal with the Devil because we have the Ankh to bring us back, and it might be a more viable option uh i mean obviously the onk is better when you get it later or when you use it later i should say but if you're going to uh well we know where the secret room's not hey that worked out all right um if you're going to be able to get mom's knife or something as a result of having the onk then it's probably worth taking it straight away you know now maybe secret room low here i guess we're probably gonna have a difficult time finding out huh second secret room could be down here that probably would not have discovered it anyway, but... Okay, we tried. Blood Bank. Yeah, <laughs> we can play it once. Can't access anything special. Uh, well, there's a chest with a bomb in it. Okay. Certainly doesn't look like we'll be able to uh, bomb our way into the shop. Where would a secret room be? Is there a room to the left up here? There is, so it looks like the secret room is almost certainly going to be here. Nope. Alrighty then. Well, I would say we are leaving this floor then. We got Bob's Curse, the Tears Upgrade, and uh, a few Spirit Hearts. That is an interesting position to be in after Floor 3 as Samson. You know what? We're not done with this floor yet. We gotta play Judgment. Give me an HP upgrade or something if there is uh, any benevolent god in this universe. Give me Bum Friend! Wow, okay. Bum Friend, I am gonna... Oh, I should have picked up that half heart and then gone back and played the Blood Bank. But the fact that we're worrying about stuff like that makes me very, very concerned for the possibilities of our success on this run. Anyway, uh, Bum Friend, I will take all of the money, but later on might be helpful. So I figured better to take it than just leave it sitting down, you know? I'll use Monstro's Tooth here. It does replenish pretty quickly. It's a three rumor. Oh, you darn jerk, you. Um, yeah, anytime I have the opportunity to use Monstro's Tooth, and I know it, it's very unlikely to cause me to be unable to use it for the boss room, it seems like a smart idea to take that opportunity and uh, not look a gift horse in the mouth and other such NL-isms. If we win this one, um, it's going to take some, some finesse, it seems. Very little keys over the course of the run so far. Very few upgrades of any kind. 
that are meaningful at least. Lump of Coal plus Rage and the Tears upgrade from Squeezy are really carrying us right now. Judas Tongue, I'm not sure if it's better than Eve's Birdfoot, but it's hard to be worse. So I think it's an okay item to take here. Alright, so I did use um, Monstrous Tooth here. You could probably argue that it's a bit of a waste considering it only hits one enemy. But anything to simplify this room seemed like a smart choice to me given uh, how annoying some of these enemies can be and how annoying the patterns of, of dodging in between them can be. So I would probably repeat that uh, every time if given the chance. Oh, hey, we got lucky there. We even took the money before bum friend. Still no keys, unfortunately, because that would make life far too easy. We could gamble and get some keys. I'd rather save that until later if possible. Oh! Keys? Bum friend, I hate you so much. There was like nine cents there. Uh, I'm gonna go to one more room just to get Monstro's Tooth charged up. Uh, two more rooms, I guess, just to get Monstro's Tooth charged up before the boss fight here. If this boss fight doesn't give us a combination of something good plus deals with the devil or angel, we've got a really, really skeptical road. A road I'm skeptical of, I guess, to be more apt there, um, ahead of us. I, I find a hard time imagining how we're gonna find success. Our damage as is, is okay. You know what, bum friend? Why don't you pick up all this money and maybe give me a key? Just because there's n Oh, bomb. Okay, just because there's no fucking way I want to risk a spirit heart by walking onto it. Um... Yeah. Yeah, this is a weird one right now. We are going to hopefully fight Pestilence, which is a relatively stationary boss for the most part. So Monstro's Tooth can do some real damage. When you're min-maxing Monstro's Tooth, that's how you know your life has taken a, a turn for the worst. Now, I always take damage on this fight, so I'm not going to stress out over taking a hit or two. Especially given the bomb fly, you know, nature of things here with David Suzuki. Um, ooh. Oh, we did it, Reddit! I got out of that. <laughs> Alive! And that is really good there. We got small rock from that tinted rock. And we got an HP upgrade. And we got a key. So that's a really good turn of events. Just be calm here. We'll leave. There could be an arcade on this floor. HP upgrade plus small rock is pretty good. I really can't believe that we didn't get a deal with the devil. You know, you would think that that might be in the cards for us. I'm deciding where to use my key. It is... Uh, well, we'll let bump... This is one of the advantages to having bump friend, I guess. Two of clubs doubles our bombs. That's pretty good, too. Um, we might be able to bomb our way into the library. Or not library. The item room. If we bomb our way into the item room, then we could use our key for the shop if we get enough money. But that will probably rely on find the secret, finding the secret room to begin with. Um, there is an arcade, so we should be able to get enough money. We will have to game bum, bum friend a little bit to do it, but still. This could be a big floor for us, actually. So, we'll walk in. Get as much money as we can. You like drag bum friend over here. And then we play, and then we drag. And then we go back. And then we go over here. And we play, and then we drag. And then we go back. And I got it, motherfucker. Don't even try that shit. Not today, okay? Maybe there's a penny in here you can distract yourself with. We play. Oh, and then we drag you away. And then we get the IV bag. I'm displeased with this. Um, at least that means that blood bags will show up now. I think we're going to double our bombs. And uh, let's check here. Looking for a secret room at this point. Okay, there it is. So we can't bomb our way into the item room. Good to know. We got most of the money there. We got enough money that we can buy whatever we want on the shop if there's no greed there. So that's fine. Let's finish off this floor and then we'll start talking about these other, you know, rooms we've got here. Oh, there's a boss trap room. Okay. Inside of our boss trap room is a coin purse, which I'm actually, I kind of relish the opportunity here. Because we can see, oh, that was so stupid of me to use monsters. Oh, it wouldn't even let me use monsters too. They're good. We'll use it on the Larry Juniors when they come out. Um, I should go back and maybe pick up IV bag as well. I can't remember if I actually picked it up. So we should make sure that that doesn't show up again. Because that might actually be the kind of thing that ends up making a, a pretty substantial difference in our run here. So... Um, good damage here. Very good damage, I'm feeling. Not very good. Okay, let's be realistic here. Decent damage. We killed one of the LJs. Now, please be tiers upgrades and HP upgrades. Please be... Or, I would actually love a bombs or key pill, but... Let's see. Orange is friends to the end. Blue is a big one. 
Speed up. We don't need many of those. Full health and as white and another friends till the end. So, well, at least we know there's a full health pill in our rotation. I'll use one bomb here um, to get this multicolored pill. And that's a tears downgrade. Which, you know, good to know, I guess, but also fuck. Thank god we have gotten a tears upgrade over the course of this run, at least. Cancel it out, or maybe even cancel it out, and then some. Two keys still, this is a big one. Uh, okay, Mom's Contacts. Lovely, lovely item. Very good, very happy to have it. And we'll check down here. Figured this room would have some enemies in it. More money for me, which I'm taking for now, but bum friend, your time will come, rest assured. I almost, you know, I had a hunch earlier in the game and it worked out. I'm gonna try to get my hunch again. And we'll do uh, that right there. No, that's not the second secret room. Okay, one spirit heart down the drain to get two spirit hearts. Curse rooms have worked out reasonably well so far. Nothing uh, incredible, but pretty good. So, we are now going to pick up the IV bag and then go to the shop. Still, you know, not amazing items on this floor. Just wanted to make sure I actually did pick this up. Uh, and you know what? We'll, we'll go low on health, too, just to give ourselves some more money. And I'm not going to give it to Bum Friend. Well, I gave some to Bum Friend. Which is good, because he gave me rusted keys, so I know that he's a piece of garbage. And uh, now we go to the shop. Which could have a mini-boss in it. Which I, do, I definitely do not want. <laughs> it could have blue candle in it. Could have compass. Could have map. Could have 9 volt. Could have battery. Could have nuns have it. So many interesting items. Could have notched axe. Could have portable slot. Not so interesting. It has greed instead. Let's use friends till the end, just to make the fight presumably a little easier. That was dumb of me, but at least I can launder some of my money through bum friend now. We have enough money. Go ahead, bum friend. Samson's lock, not super good. Hey, cancer, great trinket. Is it better than uh, Judas tongue? Shit, dude. That's kind of an interesting question as we approach our last deals with the devil here. But I'm gonna. You know what? No, I am gonna roll with the Judas tongue trinket for now. If we get Mom's purse, that's the only way I'll regret this. But I think this gives us, you know, the ability to survive and take a good deal with the devil item without actually using our onk. So I'm okay with that. Curse of Darkness. Wonderful. Okay. This room does not warrant a, uh, a Monstro's Tooth. Again, once you start min-maxing Monstro's Tooth, you're in trouble. But I guess if you got it, we might as well min-max it. This is when you have to min-max Monstro's Tooth is when you're in trouble. Mom's Contact is, without a doubt, by far the best item we've gotten so far. So that's a big deal for us. Get this uh, tinted rock. Let Bum Friend get all the consumables. That's fine. What did you do? Did you drop it? This was the tarot card that you dropped, I guess. We'll totally hermit out. And uh, terrible, terrible shop here, especially for what is, you know, fairly likely or at least plausible to be our last shop without a mini boss of the game. Definitely do not want to pay for notched axe. I don't want notched axe for free. It's it's a garbage item. All right, more money for you. Must be your lucky day. Hey, another key. Might want to use that to open uh, a golden chest. Maybe we will even use that to open this golden chest. And now Bum Friend can get most of our money. Traded a key for two bombs. Not a great deal at this point. Well, we traded a bomb and a key for two bombs. Even worse. But uh, it's not that bad because at least we got one key left. Um, again, as much as I would love to be like, oh, herp -a derp I'm an idiot. Seriously, I think that's, that's like a Binding of Isaac problem that it sometimes accidentally uses keys for you in situations like that. Um, I don't think that's me, I think that's that's the game, that's the engine. Now, you should be dead. Thank you, that was easier. Thank god we got a key back at least. Would love to use Monstro's Tooth here to take out some of these enemies that I can't really see. I really, I mean, I would love a second level cube of meat, don't get me wrong. I really hope we're not gonna be fighting war though, because we need something better. Second level cube of meat from an item room or something, I would be very pleased with, but we need like a very bombastic kind of boss room turnaround here. And we definitely need to deal with the devil as well to make me feel, um, like vindicated. Uh, sure, okay. Uh, to make me feel vindicated for, for taking Judas Tongue instead of the Cancer Trinket. I almost got hit by a fly there. So if we take no red heart damage and kill Gish, um, without getting hit, which I guess at this point are kind of by definition the same thing, we should be in a pretty good position to maybe have a decent chance of getting a deal with the devil. So, hopefully the freeze continues here. 
And we get a good deal with the Devil. Judas Tongue saves us one HP upgrade. Ooh, that was kind of close. Oh, we got to deal with the Angel instead. This could be interesting as well. Relic, Miter, Sacred Heart, Flying, uh, Scapular. Well, we can't reroll it, so we're stuck with it. Scapular. Scapular it is. Wonder why a deal with the uh, Angel. I already took a deal with the Devil. Like, I, took, I fought Krampus and took the item. Anyway. Um, scapular is obviously not the item I would choose for myself, but we don't get a, a choice in the matter, so it is what it is, right? Oh, I really thought that that was going to be the greatest dodge of all time. Instead, it was not. More bombs. We'll compensate for the bomb I'll use here. And money at this point should probably just go straight to bum friend. More keys. Probably will save um, at least one for the next floor. Item room, shop, etc., etc. Taking some dumb damage with respect to knockback here. That'll do it. Or not. Uh, very surprised. And more bombs. That's lovely, because we do have poison bombs. And there's our item room. Kind of tempted to start using bombs, but, you know, 23 is not a ton. It's a good number. I'm very happy to have Little Gish, by the way. I didn't really highlight it. Because I highlight Little Gish the same way every time. I would take Little Gish over almost every other item in the boss pool. Hey, uh, Magic Mushroom, also a wonderful item. All stats up. That is something I could really benefit from right now. So, we were wrong to take Judas Tongue. But, you know, by the same token... Well, we're not 100% wrong if Mom's Purse shows up. But, anyway. Uh, we... I probably should have given that to Bump Friend. We would have been better off with Cancer, but we're going to... We would have been leaving Cancer at the end of this floor anyway. So, it's not really that big of a deal in the whole scheme of things, in my opinion. Not this floor, the next floor. Excuse me. So... Uh, yeah, the, uh, item rooms have been holding it down lately. Actually starting to build a half-decent repertoire, repertoire of attributes here. But, um, you know, still very much in a weird spot. Nah, that's not going to be easy. That is, though. And you're frozen. All right. Tarot card is the chariot. Oh, and you dropped a red heart for me. Thank you very much. No, good for, uh, good for blood banks. And, you know, the blood bag is a very real possibility, so... How interesting. We're definitely going to check out our curse room. Guardian Angel. That is, um, I guess we've got to deal with the uh, angel rooms coming in uh, all sorts of shapes and sizes now. Which is okay. I love free Guardian Angel. Sign me the F up. Kind of a weird uh, payout, though. And down to the next floor. We got Guardian Angel Magic Mushroom there. It's kind of hard for me to be salty about that. I'm going to try to avoid using uh, Monstro's Tooth here because we can just freeze. Instead, on single target foes that aren't bosses, it seems like a good idea to just go for the freeze and save Monstro's Tooth for a little bit more crowd control. And on bosses, we can use um, the freeze to keep enemies in place and then drop a Monstro's Tooth on them, which seems like it'll make that item a lot better. But again, you know, I would replace it in a heartbeat for Blue Candle or something. But we're actually starting to be quite potent with our, our tears here. I didn't even look for a secret room on the last floor, but I guess we did have Curse of Darkness, so... Um, I can understand why. Like, this seems like a great room for Monstro's Tooth. We didn't take out very many enemies, but we took out enough to make my life a little bit easier. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll handle the rest ourselves. I would use it on this room as well, especially since they all started in the same place. And I oftentimes find myself getting hit by these motherfuckers, because I underestimate them, I think. And I would use it on this room too, but unfortunately we don't have that option. We have one more shop, and, um... What do I hope for this shop? I just hope it's not fucking greed. There's a really good chance that it will be super greed. We'll see, I suppose. Plenty of keys here, thankfully. And we get Black Bean, which is... Maybe slightly... Similar to the virus. So, you know, not thrilled about it. It's not a, a game-winning item, but... You could do a lot worse when you don't have a choice, I guess, so... We'll live with it. There's our boss room. Can't really justify going to this right away. Even if our shop ends up being shitty, I have to go to it. I just hope we don't get the steam sale at this point. That would just be painful. And, okay. Well, sorry, bum friend. Some of that money should have gone to you, but we're doing fine on consumables right now. Let's look for secret rooms while we're on our way here. That's not it. Uh, ooh, you know what? I'll probably look for this one from a different kind of vertice. 
Could find an arcade on this floor as well, which would be very nice. Especially if we get, uh, I don't know, Nun's Habit or something. Book of Belial. Yeah, it beats Monstro's Tooth. You did a good job, Monstro's Tooth. Thank you for helping to carry me a little bit in that, uh, you know, kind of dubious quality early game. It's appreciated. That's all yours, bum friend. Gave us a pill. Full health. Um, doesn't necessarily beat the chariot, but is nice regardless. Um, I'm not sure. Actually, I think we should put it in the other way. I think it does beat the chariot. Not in all situations, but probably in our, in our situation. Um, so we'll try to use the chariot on a blood bank if it exists. And we'll save this full health pill for the end. But I'll hold on to full health right now in case there is no arcade. Which is also a very realistic possibility. Alright, so... Book of Belial, really nice because it helps us get around that, you know, standard Samson problem of our base damage being dog shit, but rage being, you know, something that can carry us a little bit further. Don't want to use a key for a bomb. This is uh, very much the moment of truth for this floor. I'm not too picky, but I do want not a boss. My favorite item on the shop is definitely not a boss. This, uh, I can't help but notice, is a boss. I'm not going to use Book of Belial. It's a single target foe. Should be pretty easy to take out regardless. Bum friend, pay out with the key and a golden chest and then give me a shop item from that somehow. Bomb. There's another penny over here you may want to, you know, take some interest in. That's, a uh, friends till the end. Okay. Alrighty. Could still find an arcade. It is it's plausible for sure. Uh, we'll use Book of Belial here because I'm an idiot. Like, as soon as I hit it, I was like, how am I going to explain that? Well, I, here's how I'm going to explain it. I felt like I was in danger. Oh, be afraid, be very afraid. We did it, Reddit. We got out of there without taking a hit. Still got, like, half the room left to go, if not more. But, uh, you know, it's actually maybe a little bit less than half, functionally, because we have Rage active now. And plenty of money for you. Yeah, all right, go pick it all up, by all means. What do you got for me now? Tarot card, stars. Free teleportation to the item room. Not worth anything for us now, but earlier would have been nice. Oh well, shit happens. Very easy, two more bombs. Definitely going to get a Book of Belial charge back, which is nice. And this floor is done. Or not floor, this room. Oop, and inside we find a speed upgrade. I think it is worth taking. We did take small rock earlier, so our speed's a little lower. I don't know, man. I still feel like, and I'm, I've been saying this a lot lately, so stop me if you've heard this one before, but I still feel like I've kind of gotten fucked on um, boss room items, shops in particular. I and mean, what was our, we went to w three shops, two of them were greeds, one of them was notched axe. That's pretty terrible. Um, and, and boss room items have been pretty bad. The item rooms on this floor, have, or on this run, have been pretty good. Um, but everything else, I kind of have not been enjoying myself. Well, I've been enjoying myself, but I haven't been getting the tools that make a successful run likely. Maybe that's my own problem, though. So, we'll see. Arcade? There is an arcade. That's what I was hoping for. Very nearly took some incredibly stupid damage there. So, we will get pretty low here. And then we'll go back and get that chariot card. We're gonna gamble a lot here. This money, by the way, goes straight into the coffers of Bum Friend, who can pay out with, you know, tarot cards, red hearts, etc., etc. Uh, that's another full health pill? Oh no, that's another friends till the end. Okay. Keep at it here. Don't lose spirit hearts. Uh, now we're gonna gamble on these. And, you know, we want keys, we want red hearts, we want spirit hearts. Money can go directly to Bum Friend, who can pay out with all those things as well. Full health, I would say, is better than the Empress as well. In most situations. Mom's Pearl, great. Um, oh my god, really? So that, uh, unfortunately... Well, safety cap. Or sorry, liberty cap is okay. Um, Mom's Pearl might give us one spirit heart over the course of this whole shebang. Thank god you didn't pay out there. Alright, winning money is fine by me. Money and red hearts are really the, the big ones. Uh, you know... Keys are fine too. We could open some more golden chests, but uh, money and money and keys are what we want here. Money for bum friend to launder, and uh, or sorry, not keys, red hearts, red hearts, so we can play the blood bank more. Get closer to getting that uh, blood bag. Work with me here. Seventeen cents. This isn't gonna take that long for us to get down to zero. Probably should not be walking into enemies when we could just shoot them instead. What do we have here? 
Our card is um, the Hermit. I don't think I saw that one before, actually. If I did, I didn't pay attention to it, at least. So, we, we don't want to use the full health pill. Instead, what we would do is get all the red hearts on the floor and come back, and then we get the chariot card along the same time. And, uh, that would be fine. But really, just, if we don't have to bother with any of that, that'd be even better. But our luck, unfortunately, seems to be pretty god-awful. And there's some more bombs. On, truth be told, you know, bombs, keys, all of that shit helps me out a lot right now. So, I'm, I'm content to have that as well. I picked up Mom's Pearl while we were here, just in case we get uh, more Spirit Heart payouts. It'd be nice to have. Seriously, the one time I want to win money. Every other time, I don't give a shit about it. I'm like, oh, well, that just means I'm going to take more time here. It works out totally fucked in this situation, now that I want it. Don't give me fly love, you piece of shit. Oh, you... Pure human trash. You get to live another day. And... Okay. Maybe it's the left one. The left one's bad luck. Let's go on the right one here. And... Alright, that didn't pan out either because obviously math is math. And... Okay, that is like the seventh money one in a row we've lost. Now let's lose our ninth heart in a row. Yeah, okay. What are this time? Keys? So we're definitely gonna win this one. Yeah, there we go. Now, let's get some hearts we can lose. Yeah, there we go. They showed up, so... Well, of course. I'm happy to have the keys, in all honesty, but I would really love to get some more hearts. Really? Alright. I thought maybe being genuine would actually help me out for once. Now we'll win bombs, because I have no money left. Oh, no, okay. Thanks for proving me wrong. We got some work to do. Where's our shop? Very close by, actually. Um... We'll take our red heart. Just because it's close, we'll come back and gamble some more, see if we can launder our money through Bum Friend. I'd rather launder it through Bum Friend than launder it through the, the Three Skull Monty, so... Better chance for payout, I think. We don't know what this does. Bombs are key. Ooh, that's weird. Um, we definitely don't need 30 keys. Well, where is... Uh, where, where is everything here, right? We can trade it up. You know, honestly, this is probably a pretty good trade right now, then. And I thought maybe that would be the same thing, but no, it was just a cruel joke. What is our item in there? Am I crazy? I went to the secret room, but there's an item in there. I didn't want it. Oh, it's because I traded for Book of Ball Out. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. So this is I always take forever on this floor, but that's because this floor is like, you know, a moment of uh it's a moment of truth for sure. We're gonna get way more money, it'll go to bum friend here. Um, I might end up taking some of it by accident because we're gonna have to be in there as often as possible with the chariot. And then we're gonna, you know, leave pretty much. Hopefully with a HP plus speed upgrade intact. So there's one, two, uh, three. And we can do four. Oh, flat penny. We definitely don't need that. This is a weird one, cause Sorry, I hear some beeping. That must be outside. Um, do I want to take bombs or key here? I think I do. We don't have any money. I really don't want to sacrifice a spirit heart to do this. I really don't want to sacrifice full health to do this. But I think our HP is so low that it might actually be worthwhile. So let's pick up Flat Penny for a second and, and do this. So I did use full health for that. We can always take the Empress card with us. It's not like we gave it up for nothing. We effectively gave it up for an Empress card. Oh! Bum friend, how could you? Well, certainly the run seems a lot easier uh, now that uh, I only have to beat Shoal. That's devastating. And now watch. Now that we've had that one, like, life-sundering situation, I will probably get the blood bag straight away here. No, of course not. Yeah, that would be too easy. Yeah, that's what you're saying. All right, I feel you. Um, nothing? Okay. We don't know what this does. Balls of steel. That's actually really good. Tower card. Okay, whatever. The Empress. Um, I'm, I'm a little, you know, shocked right now. That's okay, though. Take our spirit heart. Take our bomb. Get the fuck out of here. God damn it. Well, it looks like we're probably not going to have to worry about uh, beating Shoal here. Or beating Isaac. Can I... Is there any way I can cheat? Give Trinket? Like, is that something? Items, give Trinket the Polaroid. 
No, it doesn't work. Uh, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I know people are gonna be mad about this. Some people want me to go to Shoal. But in the interest of preserving the quality of this run, I'm gonna Spider Mod, give myself Mom's Purse. And that will allow me to have the Tick as well as the Polaroid. So I know that that's gonna annoy some people, but I kinda feel like the Tick is bad design, so I hope you don't mind it too much. I'm not trying to fire shots or anything like that. Um, just for me playing the game. I would, I'd prefer if I were actually able to complete it, you know? Um, I think we would basically be guaranteed to beat Shoal as well, so... Anyway, um, you know, in a, in a weird way, this does give us a little bit of an unfair advantage, uh, because we have the Tick, and the Tick is a decent, uh, a decent trinket when it doesn't ruin your game, so... Um, I, I apologize for that, but... Hopefully, you know, you'll just remember how many of our item and boss rooms were shitty, and then you'll realize that the tick doesn't nearly compensate for that. It's not like we gave ourselves a free mom's knife or anything like that. That would be, uh, career suicide. Anyway. Empress card. Probably should have used, uh... Oh, man. And now, of course, we get a ton of HP. Probably should have used, um, like, my hermit card to teleport out of the mom fight, just in case we got to deal with the angel. But what's done is done, unfortunately. Down to the next floor. And, uh, okay, so it's business as usual, in spite of that disaster earlier. This is why I like Spider Mod. You know, you, you can punish yourself to the degree that you'd like to. And I don't want to punish myself any more than is typical for an Isaac run right now. It's not even actually a punishment to go to Shoal. It makes things way easier on me. It makes the video shorter. You know, I can just go take a shit instead of, uh, finishing the cathedral. And uh, life is good. Um, but I think that's a little bit of a cheap cop out here. And I think, you know, I, I would be very disappointed if we didn't get a chance to actually try ourselves on the cathedral in the chest, because I think we might have a very real shot at making it work. And we've worked our ass off to make that happen over the course of this run, so... It's not like this is a Mom's Knife Polyphemus run where I'm like, ho-hum, we're gonna win. This is a run where I've, I've worked. I've gotten lucky, occasionally. Mom's Contact, great item. Magic Mushroom, great item. Um, but apart from that, it's been a, it's been a slog, so... Fuck me for, uh... Wanting to seek uh, be a bit of a glory hound in a situation like this. Anyway, I'm gonna assume that everybody still watching is okay with it. How you doing? How's your uh, how's your Wednesday going? I just guessed. Um, devil or Empress? I don't really care. The six of one half a dozen of the other. We can use uh, the Devil card on a room leading up to the boss if we find it's annoying. But we probably you know would just waste our time in doing that. Uh, bum friend, pick up the money. Give me something. Okay, next time maybe. Fair enough. I'd rather just save like the Devil card and use it in conjunction with Book of Belial. Which would give us crazy damage for maybe the Isaac fight. Pinky Eye is great. We can't take it. We'd lose the Polaroid. Tears down. Probably not going to take that either. Uh, because that's a terrible choice. Might as well. Might have wanted to look for the secret room there, but that's okay. Uh, Curved Horn. Can't take that either, but that's a it's a great pickup. One of the best trinkets in the game, for sure. So good I actually took it instead of the Polaroid once by accident. Very recently, unfortunately. Trinkets continue to be a thorn in my side. But in Rebirth, um, I've heard that um, the, the Polaroid and trinket system is going to be way more simplified. Uh, and, you know, smoothed out so that trinkets that are not the Polaroid are actually useful. That'll be nice. And... I'm not using Book of Belial just because we haven't really encountered rooms that feel like it's necessary to use Book of Belial. You know? We're, we're doing fine here. Pretty much no reason to, to throw that in jeopardy, I'd say. Uh, I picked up money by accident there. Bum friend just looks at me like, what the fuck, man? We had a deal. We were on a break! I don't know why that's Jerry Seinfeld instead of Ross Geller. But in a way, I kind of feel like Ross Geller is the Jerry Seinfeld of our generation. Except Ross Geller is a uh, fictional character. Jerry Seinfeld, very much a real person. David Schwimmer, that was his name. How could I forget? Has there ever been a man on Earth who looked more like his name than David Schwimmer? If you showed me a picture of that man, I would say, I don't know, it was kind of like a you know, David Schwimmer or something like that. I would be exactly right. Now, that is Balls of Steel. Very good pill. Pretty much a linear path to the boss here, weirdly enough. Doesn't always happen that way. Sweet. Two bombs for a key is not an awful trade in this situation. It's not a great trade either, but let's check this out quickly. Um, yeah, you know, red chest is worth opening. 
as long as I'm confident that I'll be able to beat these enemies, and I am. We will fight, you know, three bosses here, but that's okay. Especially with our damage and, and rage building up, I think we're fine here. It's really the cathedral where things are going to get interesting, in particular the, uh, the Isaac boss fight. Because um, he doesn't really give us an opportunity to build rage. And uh, then the chest. I think we're pretty, not necessarily a lock, but I think we're pretty much a lock to get through the cathedral. Remains to be seen, I suppose, but as you can see, you know, once we get a little bit of momentum, our damage is, is good enough to carry us here. Alright, so that mob trap room, not superb. Curse room, pretty much exactly the same, except it costs us two spirit hearts to go in. And we're going to be fighting uh, Dove Loki here. Going to make some laser bullet flies right off the bat, huh? That's annoying. That should have been more or less impossible to dodge. Damage is out of control right now with Book of Belial. And... There we go. Very, very easy. And a range upgrade. That compensates for being able to take the tick for free. And the Bible, you know, that's up there too uh, when we talk about shitty items. So, down to the next floor. Curse of Darkness. Doesn't really bother me too much considering we don't have map or compass anyway. Your Curse of Darkness holds no power over me because you gave me no power to hold over the map in the game anyway. My whole life is a Curse of Darkness. Now. We will uh, take out these turrets first off, yeah, because otherwise they do that. And we are still in the position, you know, we have the Ankh. The later we use it, the better our lives will be, but... You're a font, great. Um, it's a risky position to be in as well. As soon as things start going wrong, they're gonna stay wrong, probably. Mind you, it's always better to have a 1-up than not have it, unless it's 9 lives and it costs you a bunch of uh, HP upgrades to pick it up. Walk you over here, Guardian Angel Cube of Meat, tear your old bitch ass up. And at least it's not a large floor. The only thing that sucks about Curse of Darkness when you don't have map and compass is that it's annoying sometimes to have to like backtrack and not know where you're going. Plenty of keys if we do make it to the chest, which I think again is very likely at this point. Okay, Mom's Contact is seriously like... More than almost any damage upgrade in the game, I value Mom's Contact. Because of the amount of damage it allows you to do risk-free. This is another tier's downgrade. We'll probably avoid taking that because it's uh, awful. Now, can we... Whoa, the freeze did not work out in my favor there. To be fair, they, they did a very good job of backing me into the corner. We picked up uh, some Spirit Hearts. Just randomly on the floor, which I appreciate a great deal. Yeah, very tempting. Not. So we're going to take out the turrets. Should be like three hits each. Then we're going to pop Book of Belial. And we can use bombs like crazy here. Even though I prefer to save them for, um, you know, the Isaac fight or the Blue Baby fight because they do so much damage. With poison bombs, we need less than 17. So I think we're, we're totally fine here. Mom's going to be permanently firing bombs way earlier than usual because of the freeze. And uh, we're pretty much done here. Like, this is over. Very easy. And this is what I mean when I said that Shoal would be like a cakewalk. So let's head up to the cathedral and start putting our money where our mouth is. We, we've got one chance to get everything right here. Let's do it. Well, we got two chances because we have the Ankh, but you, you know what I mean. You, you understand the sentiment, I hope. And slowly, kind of quietly but surely, well, not quietly because I've been bitching like crazy, but um, we've put together a winning, or a winnable, not a winning, certainly not guaranteed, run. Um, through some items that are great, but not winning r items in and of themselves, you know? Like, um, no, oh, sorry, bum friend. Go ahead. Alright. Um, like Lump of Coal. Lump of Coal's doing some good shit for us. But, it's not gonna win us the run. But then, in conjunction with some Tears upgrades and Small Rock and, uh, you know, Bloody Lust, all of a sudden, we've got some interesting stuff going on here. Really, you just gave me, like, a Balls of Steel pill for no reason. I'm very pleased with that. What seemed like no reason, I should say. Of course, there's always a reason. And the reason is you, I think I remember, Hoobastank saying. Whatever happened to those guys? Now, if you could give a band a name that sounds more appropriate than Hoobastank for what they looked like, I would be surprised. They've got David Schwimmer levels of eponymity. Now, we have a curse room here. Figured the best approach was just to dive in as soon as possible, maybe get a, a freeze and an easy kill. Make my life uh, simpler in the long run. Yeah, let's just walk into an enemy there, you dingle bat. Now, a couple more hits on each of these guys should kill them pretty easily. We'll let Bum Friend give us a Spirit Heart. No? Really don't want to sacrifice two Spirit Hearts at this point to go into that uh, curse room, which means inevitably there's an item in there. It is not our secret room. Okay. I still think we've got a good chance against Isaac because of the 
uh, even without using bombs because of mom's contact and our relatively high rate of fire putting on a relatively constant freeze relatively uh, bomb friend you can take those but if we like freeze and use bombs then I think we're in a great position we do have scapular as well so if we can get to a half heart interval somehow that would be cool uh, sorry bum friend that money's for me apparently for no reason at all now we can do something a little tricky here try it again yeah that was that was wonderful um, let's try this again and we'll try it one more time will this actually blow it over here very slightly I just tch, fuck what some of my shots travel through the fucking bomb I don't get it okay then when I shoot early that's what happens so let's just go oh my god so not worth it lost like all of my spirit hearts there I am I'm displeased with myself for the way I handled that but still um, I'm also displeased with the fact that my shots seem to travel through that thing for no fucking reason that bomb I should say that was way not worth it now this is maybe worth a book of Belial charge good fucking bomb right there freeze freeze Oop, and not a freeze instead those are sights very different than freezing so just freeze death and then let the horse sort him out good 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 okay now more we can freeze the horse better life can be as soon as we freeze we can just get behind it no nope. okay that didn't even come close freeze there we go now we can get behind it and do a little bit more damage not very much more but we should be done with this relatively soon anyway yeah there we go more bombs okay losing those spirit arts could have a pretty terrible impact on this run to be honest with you very bad damage there there go all of our spirit hearts now to freeze okay dead is better than frozen that's a lesson that Arnold Schwarzenegger should have taken in 1997's Batman and Robin I was focused on freezing people man just get over it so I think it is pretty prudent get out of the way of that uh, to pop devil and book of Belial here not as confident as I was to start with but uh, as you can see our damage quite nice right now keep in mind we have no uh, ability to build rage here so at least until the angel fetuses show up which I would rather they didn't if we could just keep a constant freeze on instead we do have uh, two-thirds of a full suite of orbitals with guardian angel which is gonna make them a, a little bit more potent than usual even perfect keep the freeze on here like six shots per freezing cycle even if we can just get three or four cycles stacked on top of one another that's very important no beams of light from heaven to avoid no purple shots to avoid no angel fetuses to avoid let's keep it that way ideally no okay there's two angel fetuses and some purple shots oh sunny D and one more one more uh, not even close there we go okay so we didn't take any damage there that's pretty good let's open these up chocolate milk no 10 bombs yes mr. mega wonderful spider button no so we're, we're gonna become very bomb focused here I'd say this should be interesting I think if we get to the boss fight we will win if we get to the boss fight before using the onk I think we'll win that's what I'm trying to say freeze yo that's not very good um, which means not taking very much damage and that would mean that I'd probably save book of Belial for um, for our onk try permanent Polaroid invincibility plus the mr. mega poison bombs would probably keep us in a really good spot bombs are key definitely don't want to use that right now oh yeah that was um, that was a little frightening now this is a, a sweet situation if we can just keep people like consistently frozen which is not working out perfectly so far but might be in the future hey, thank you very much you're dead okay good should have waited to pick up that HP we could have gotten to a half heart interval um, ideally we kill gluttony last maybe for the extra red hearts it could give us or spirit hearts but killing greed last wouldn't be the worst thing in the world because we could snag um, some money for bum friend but you know this isn't money for bum friend or flowers for Algernon this is wins for northern lion so there we go and those red hearts may come very much in handy all right this is sweet um, one of the easiest rooms we could possibly hope to face right now and uh, I don't even care let's alternate fighting the horsemen of the apocalypse that was really stupid to me that was bad damage good thing we killed pestilence last very recently 
Not pestilence. Um, gluttony. Similar. Words that I never used before 2011. Except if I was watching Seven. Not trying to rhyme intentionally. Now, you stay there. You stay there. You stay there! I really thought we would be able to do that before we got hit. I don't know why you always get knocked into the wall somehow. Okay. This is good. This is fine. Yeah. This is perfect. Don't even need to move. We have more than enough speed to get away, though, if it comes to that. Okay. More bombs. There's our boss room. I think we're going to win. So I feel very much vindicated in in taking, uh, forcing myself to get Mom's purse. And this has been an interesting run. So I, I really like this run, actually. Again, like, if there's any items that are working their way up my quote-unquote power rankings for items right now, Mr. Mega's one of them, even though we haven't really seen it at work yet. Um, and the Ankh and 1-Up are seriously doing it for me. Um, they're basically, like, as valuable as a full health pill, sort of. Um, if you can save them until the end of the game. So I am going to try to win this one. I'm not going to use Book of Belial, though. I think I'll save Book of Belial for the Ankh. Ugh. No, I think I will use Book of Belial here first. We can always use Spider Butt with the Ankh playthrough, which, I mean, it's not as good, but... You know, I think, I think we have a better chance here if we just go for Broke. We're also going to build a fuck ton of Rage from killing these flies. And as long as we can keep the Freeze on, then life's good. And if we get hit, we walk in, you know, drop some uh, Mr. Mega Poison Bombs. My favorite snack from Trader Joe's. Okay, don't fuck it up. You've, you've done fine. Done fine so far. The tick actually caused us to fuck up our half-heart interval. Um, so maybe it's not as objective a positive as I had considered. But I think we're going to win regardless. And this is Mom's Contact, man. It's pretty much Mom's Contact at work. We win. All right, interesting run. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.